News 8 is putting you first tonight. Maureen joins us, the panel of experts who have volunteered their time tonight to answer your questions about kids going back to school. Maureen. That's right. The number to call now through 630 is 287-8005. We have a pediatrician here. We have teachers here. We have experts to help you and your family, most especially your lovely child get ready for school, which is just a few weeks away. Joining me now is Dr. David Topa. He is a pediatrician with Pittsburgh Pediatric Associates. We are talking about vaccines and physicals. Uh, what do parents need to know? What's the schedule here? So in our office, this is a very busy time of year because we start getting the phone calls, parents get a letter home from the nurse or in anticipation of the school year coming up that your child needs X or Y vaccine or uh, from school nurses saying if your child wants to play football, soccer, any of those sports, girls tennis in the next week, well, they need physical. So and what's the rule? Let's start with the physicals. How often should athletes be getting physical or what is required? Well, pretty much it's recommended every child see their pediatrician or their family physician uh, once a year mm -hmm. because it's not only just getting a check for sports, it's also checking weight, blood pressure, hearing, vision, all these things that kids need to have going well in order to uh, succeed in school. So it's more than just going to urgent care and having someone listen to you real quick and then not follow up with any of the chronic issues. So it's a great opportunity to touch base with your own physician and see how things are going on. So once a year for that. Uh, for vaccines, the big grades are kindergarten, of course, where you, you want to have all their uh, primary uh, vaccine routines or schedules done. And then as they enter sixth grade, it's required that they get their t uh, diphtheria, tetanus, pertussis booster. Seventh grade is meningitis. And then again, going into uh, 11th grade or into 12th grade is the meningitis as well. And that's all according to state law. The key here, just listening to you, is to have a great relationship with your family doctor so you can keep track of all of these things. Absolutely, and call ahead, because right now um, many offices are scheduling two to three weeks out, which puts you after the start of the school year. So now's the time to call. All right, Dr. Toba, thank you so much. 287-8005, uh, 287-8005. Dr. Topa will be here through 630, as will our other panel of experts. So call, call now if you have any questions about your back-to-school school routine, they can help. Adam, back to you.